Hi guys, welcome to a new video on Next.js 13. In this video, as you have already seen from the title that I'll be showing you theming in Next.js 13 application. So we have a toggle button at the top and if we click on it, you can see a nice looking animation and it changes from light to dark mode. And this is a simple two pages website. It contains nothing simple static data just for elaborating this to you. So let's go and implement theming in Next.js 13. So I'll start off explaining you the basic folder structure that I have and this is for the layout that is already built and this is the layout and uh, this is the source folder. This is the app directory. Inside the app directory we have this page which is the home route. It is showing every content that you can see over here and then we have the layout which is having the components of the navbar and the footer and uh, it's loading all its children. And then we have this portfolio route and it contains this page, this static content. All right, and then we have the components. One is for the nav bar, another is the footer. So this is pretty much it. We have this layout and this is how it's looking like and there is no theming yet and I can navigate from one page to other page, right? And if you are not sure how to create Next.js 13 app, create routes, I have created a crash course on Next.js 13. Check out my channel and I'll be giving the link of that playlist in the description of this video, right? So I need to add a theming context and uh, then I'll be adding this button over here and you have already seen the demo of it. So I will start off by creating a new folder and I'm going to name it context. And inside the context folder, I will be creating a new file and I can give it theme context.js right and uh, in this file first let me create a new component with the theme context and uh, i will be importing few stuff here so i will import create context and then i will import use state okay and uh, then i will be creating a new variable and I'll be exporting that because it will be required for uh, for other components. Const theme context and the create context. Right. And uh, this theme context is going to take the children. And inside it first, I will start off by creating our theme variable. Choose state. And by default, I'm going to enable the dark mode. Okay. And uh, I'll, I'll try to explain this context API of a React uh, and also in the next JS 13. But I'm assuming that you are already aware of how to create components, how to use this use state hook. If not, then uh, check out my videos. I have explained all these managing states and also the next JS 13 tutorials. So after that, I will be creating a two function that will be exposed to the other components that uh, are needed to uh, change it into light or dark mode. So currently we have the nav bar, so it can be any other component as well. So I'll be creating like switch dark and set theme and I can give it a string dark. Now I will be creating another function so switch light and I'll be giving it a light string. Okay. And uh, here I don't need to return this div. Instead, I need to return a theme context inside it. And the theme context are given with the provider. And then I can provide it value that what are the values of this particular component should be available to other components. Uh, to uh, make these changes to access to these functions. So I will be passing all three variables the theme and these two functions So these can be used in other components. So first let's give it switch dark switch light and then the theme Right and uh, let's close it and inside it I can have everything that is available in the params so currently we have this children available okay and then i need to apply it a class 
that uh, all the whole application is going to be received within this children variable so but this children variable needs to have some styling to it so i will be giving it a class name so class name and uh, then i will be writing the curly braces and uh, then i will be giving it theme variable and i'm going to give another class to it to give some kind of animation when we change from light to dark you just saw in at the start of this video okay so i think that's pretty much it for this file and we have created our context so let's save it and then we need to go to our layout file and layout file will be passing all these children the uh, navbar children footer because we want to change the color of the navbar content and the footer as well okay so i will be first importing that context that i've just created so i will give it theme context so it has uh, by default detected the path of it and uh, i can wrap this whole div inside that theme uh, it should be theme provider okay so this is the this is not a theme context this has to be a theme provider actually all right and uh, we sh can export it directly from here and i'm going to remove this last line and here i need to import the theme provider and i can wrap it within the theme provider okay now all the components which are in this children will have access to all the variables which we are passing from here right and these functions will be used by our navbar where we'll be creating that button for switching and toggling between light and dark mode okay there is an error i need to remove it okay so this is something we are done with this file and next we need to go to the navbar where we will be creating our button so navbar and here i will be coming to uh, this and i will be creating a button right and uh, in this button i will be having an on click function so let's leave it like this for now and uh, then i will change its content based upon the data so first of all how we can access the data of this variable in other files since we have passed these variables to access the data we can import the theme context so import theme context okay and inside it i can write const and then use context and i'll pass it theme context i also need to import the this uh, use context as well so use context from the react okay and then i can have these variables which are passed from there so there are switch dark function we have the switch light function and then we have the theme variable okay so make sure to spell it right i hope that i've didn't i did any mistake so here i can write theme equals to dark and then i can pass those emojis uh, that i showed you so i'll be copying those emojis from my other file you can just search on google like the sun icon in the form of text so i'll be pasting over here okay if it is dark then i'll be showing this sun icon because i want to switch back to the light and if it's not dark then i'll be showing to this okay and uh, now if i just uh, need to enter some kind of logic inside it so if theme equals to dark i need to write switch dark and otherwise i will be triggering the switch light function 
and I can also give it some class to it. So I can give the class name and uh, here I can write theme uh, some kind of class to it that I've already written over here. So the theme buttons I've already styled. So this video is not about styling. So that's why I've already written inside it. So this is called the styles dot theme buttons. Okay, so let's save it. Uh, there is an error like uh, in this file theme context. Maybe one of these marked as a client. Oh, so in Next.js, we need to add use client at the top because we are uh, calling some functions. It is the front and side function. So it has to be, you can see the error is gone and it is compiled successfully. Now let's see how it's looking like. If I refresh, uh, I can navigate from here to there. And if I click on it, it's not doing anything yet. Okay, so one last thing that I need to do is, uh, I need to go to, the global.css and here I need to make some changes. So first I need to give it like light background color has to be white and color has to be black. So if that particular div have a class light then we are going to change the background white and the color is going to be black. So I'm going to copy paste and I'm going to change it dark and I'm going to change its color to black and change its color to white. And let's see what happens. It's compiled and if I click on it, it's not doing anything yet. Let's, and we have actually needs to revert this. It should be reverted. So let's save it and let's go and if I click on it, it's working. That's awesome. And you can see that uh, everything is changed to black and the background is white and it doesn't affect images. This is the image and this is the image, right? And it does not affect the buttons as well. So portfolio home and I can click again and it will become a dark mode again. One last thing I need to add is a smooth animation when we switch from light to dark. So it's you can see it's quick. So in order to add the animation, you can remember that I gave it another class anim and I will be adding this anim class and add some kind of transition. So let's go to our global file and anywhere I can write the same class anim and here I can write transition one second all is so let's save it refresh and there should be an animation all right there is an animation this is looking so cool so this is the basic version of how we can change theming in our next.js application if we have a blog website like a simple ui like this multiple pages even if there are hundreds of pages about us page contact us and simple pages like this then we can use the same concept that i have written over here but if we have a complex ui like a dashboard that have a complex analytics showing some kind of graphs or charts uh, then we would be opting something like other UI libraries uh, like the SAS or SCSS or Tailwind CSS. They provide quite a lot of functionality, but that does not require if you have a simple blogging application with the simple UI, just uh, some kind of tables on it, then you can just opt with the same uh, way that I have just shown you to apply some kind of animation. And I'll be surely show you how to use theming with other UI libraries as well in my upcoming videos like from the Tailwind, Material UI, React Bootstrap and when I'll be building and creating a tutorial on uh, some big application that requires some dashboard then I will surely use that. For now that's pretty much it. If you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you in the next video.